Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we got this retro radio which you got for your birthday. It's a retro radio. No soldering needed step by step. I wonder how you're going to put those capacitors in with no soldering. Anyway, let's open it up. Let's put it together. So, oh, this is the, it's a cardboard. This is the radio. Okay. I guess we open it. And yeah, just it. dump all the parts out. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's got a breadboard in there. So a breadboard is just like where you plug, you just plug wires into this. Okay, so it's like, that's kind of cool. This would be a good, good electronics project for you. So this is a breadboard where you put that stuff in. Looks like it's got an adhesive back. There's a speaker. This is, these are potentiometers for the volume. Basically, this is like a radio on the chip type thing. Talks about all the different components. This is a sticky thing. Got an LM386 amplifier. Mounting the amplifier. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of sort of reminds me of the old Radio Shack project type stuff. Okay, step one, mounting the amplifier. So we get the breadboard. The all right. LM3 you need the LM386 amplifier. So you need to get a capacitor, jump this pin over to the blank one beside it, and then put that. I'm trying to grab it. These are like the capacitor from your tape decks. Yeah, they are. So this goes. Now the, these these have polarity. So the look look on the side of it, and you'll see that one of them's marked. See the one is the minus. Step two. Step two: the sound generator. You just need a 10K resistor, which is brown, black, orange, and you put it there. So at this point, we had just jumped in and started following the steps, and only later do we realize the booklet actually takes you through a series of projects leading up to the final radio. So the sound generator was the first project. We were confused. Hey, why is it telling us to take stuff off the board or power up stuff without connecting all the parts? But anyway, this, this little radio, this project was a digital radio with scan with a scan button. Well, that does. I guess that goes back to the beginning. That's a good song. Now, we got to mount it in our case here. See if that improves the sound quality. Our radio, turn it on, see what happens. It works. It's coming up on the max. Oops. Stocks down, Tesla's down, crypto's been getting slammed, and many fear the hawkish moves by the Fed could stall the economy. So what's your plan? So what do you think? You radio. built the radio. It's now it's a digital tuner, so... So that's the retro radio. What'd you think of that? Did you learn anything? Did you have fun? Uh, yes. Did you think it was easy to do? It was pretty easy. Yeah, it took us about an hour. I would say you probably need an adult with you because there's a lot of stuff you're using IC, stripping wire, etc. There's a lot of stuff coming at you. Now, this is what I used to have when I was your age or younger. It's the Radio Shack project kit. Uh, the Radio Shack kit is a little bit easier to connect because you are sort of like bending these wires under springs and it's it's more basic projects but it's more focused on kind of visually showing you how things are wired up and the fundamentals where the retro radio is you know more like step by step. So it's a little little different take but you know it's it's good. Either one of these is good for people who want to learn about electronics. And so the manual on the Radio Shack is sort of a more recipe based approach and uh, that kind of thing and the uh, the retro radio is in color, a little bit nicer manual, but you know, too bad that, uh, I mean, I'm sure people make things like this radio th shack thing, but anyway, uh, that's about it. And thanks for watching and see you next time for another awesome video. Bye.